Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. I you are seeing here on my t-shirt and uh, in the title I decided to experiment with 3D printing today and create a custom t-shirt uh, uh, with 3D printing. I use my Ultimaker 2 Plus and uh, I put the t-shirt on the build plate, I calibrate the build plate uh, with the t-shirt on it and print the logo I want uh, like this time it's like uh, the ghost uh, of, from uh, Pac-Man but you can do whatever you want uh, just keep in mind uh, to be careful and be sure everything will work well with your printer uh, because you can of course damage your printer you're uh, putting inside the printer something it should not be there so now we'll uh, uh, go on the PC and let you show step by step what I did to add the logo and then show you how I uh, make it happen with my Ultimaker 2 Plus and we will come back for the end of so as uh, you can see we just move on my pc i just open illustrator uh, because i save from um, google the picture of the ghost of pac-man and i uh, will trace image trace and expand and pretty much now we have a vectorial file of this picture and we just if you use uh, like uh, Rhino 3D how I use usually you need to export the file uh, and save it in DWG or if you are using like Fusion 360 you just save us uh, like um, SVG file uh, after you save it we can move to uh, Rhino 3D and type import uh, and we have here the file pretty much the traces file and um, what I will do pretty much now is just extrude this shape and I will probably extrude just for like uh, 0 0.6 uh, like free layer I think we can print at 0 0.2 and it will be pretty much free layer so it will still be probably a, a kind of bit flexible on the t-shirt it will be not be too much rigid and uh, we just export so after we export uh, the STL file we can open our slicer uh, right now I'm using uh, uh, Simplify 3D and I already set up to have uh, the Ultimaker 2 Plus uh, in the software and uh, we will import the file on the desktop uh, check all the settings so I would say yeah it would be uh, it doesn't really matter then feel because it will uh, go full solid because are just free layer uh, I have here I can put 0 0.2 and all the other stuff should be fine so I can do ok and prepare to be print so we have here the little preview and uh, pretty much is how we will print this shape so now I will save it on the sticker of my Ultimaker 2 and uh, plus and uh, we will move to the Ultimaker to put the t-shirt on the build plate and print on, on it the logo so we are here with my Ultimaker 2 plus and um, I will don't remove the build plate from the platform and just apply the t-shirt on top and try to figure out the best way to like put in the right position like to be able to uh, uh, print uh, the ghost on the center parts so I will try to put it like here and then you will stop the t-shirts putting clips uh, on the like bottom five just three clips so I will put on the bottom parts and on the two sides and um, then we will go and calibrate the, the build plate so I'm putting now this clip here and the other clip and try to have like a nice plane it need to be like really plain surface where we will go and now calibrate the printer and print on top of it so now we can calibrate the printer and uh and try to put the extruder in the uh, right position so we'll try to have like a decent space uh, from the t-shirt and the extruder and uh, then we will print the ghost I will now just calibrate really quickly and then we will go to print
So I just finished to calibrate the printer, I hope it will be <laughs> the right calibration to be honest is something quite particular uh, I don't really recommend if you are not feeling like confident to do it because you could damage the printer in some way uh, I will anyway test it you know for YouTube <laughs> and uh, I already put inside the, uh, the filaments I'm using a Form Futura uh, Black 2.85 uh, if you want to buy some of these um, uh, filaments you can find a discount code on the description and uh, so we will just go through and uh, try to print this gauze on the t-shirt and see if it works well enjoy all the steps to be able to create something like this uh, uh, how you saw you is quite easy and uh, it's just that you just need to be careful of what you are doing and uh, how you saw I removed the outside line usually it's been created to uh, be sure to purge the extruder to be sure you have the filaments to print the shape you want and uh, the fourth line wasn't perfect because anyway I try to calibrate the printer uh, well but at the same time I don't want to create hole in the t-shirt because the extruder touched the t-shirts so I was a bit, a tiny bit too much distance from the t-shirt but anyway I was able to stick on the t-shirts and uh, then with the, uh, la the final layer it covered all the kind of imperfection because the outline wasn't really attached to the infill but how you can see now is quite it came out really I'm pretty much I'm really happy about the results and uh, at the same time you can use like flexible material other kind of material on top uh, and then uh, I think you can wash it or you can directly peel it off yeah you can peel it uh, you will uh, you will uh, remove it I think this is a pretty cool thing you can do with 3 printing and can be perfect like for events or something like that you want to put your logo on the t-shirt and go around or do something like particular uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you make it something like this tweet to me on, on Twitter or on, tag me on different social I will be more than happy to see you create this kind of project at home and uh, a big thanks of course to all my Patreon uh, they support the channel and uh, let be able to uh, buy uh, a different product I use on my video uh, and uh, if you like this video subscribe and see you at the next one and remember raise your eyebrow